Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Make It Make Sense. Well, hey, this is like an eagle move going on here. This man is acting like a true eagle. All right? Oh, I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. You just can't win when you play dirty. You just can't win when you play dirty. We're going to be talking about Brett Favre. I think that's the pronunciation of his last name. Or Favre. Uh, we get it from U.S. Today. USA Today. Now, one of my family members wanted me to talk about this situation. Now, see, again, these are my four L's. The situation is very foolish. Fuckery, fraudulent, fakery behavior. Okay, and we can all put it on Brett Favory because he thought he was going to be doing stuff in the dog that actually came to light. Came to the light, honey. He over there mismanaging money and taking it from the welfare folks, okay? The low-income people that need that money. It ain't just for uh, black folks. So don't even get it going thinking it's a stereotypical thing that blacks do. No. The Asians get it. The Indians get it. The Caucasian people get it. The blacks get it. The Jewish people get it. Everybody gets it if they have low income status. You going to eat right now? Okay, I am too. I'll be back down in a minute. Um, Tell Sean to get up. Uh, let's just talk about this situation here. They have him, uh, Lorenzo Reyes, okay? He's putting out the article from USA Today because he is definitely putting it to the max on showcasing this brother's bad deeds, okay? Stand up for the welfare, folks. Now, you, you make it make sense. I can't. I can't because even if I needed it at one time. Well, I think I did need it at one time when I divorced my ex and I was a single mom trying to make it do what it do. And I did receive funds for about a year and a half, okay? Yes, I can admit to it. Everybody else shouldn't be ashamed of it. But this man should be ashamed of fraudulently taking the money and using it for uh, white privilege stuff. Because that's all it was, white privilege. He already had money. Why the hell he didn't donate the money? No, he going to use funds with the government. So... See, it ain't just the black folk be trying to do things out here. We got the white folk doing it out here, too. And many other races. Okay? Many other races. But it just seems like the black folks get the spotlight on things going bad. We're doing bad and all that kind of shit. Okay? But he titled his article, What We Know About Brett. We're going to just call him Brett. Okay? What We Know About Brett and his Texas or his Texas and Mississippi welfare scandal. It said the state of Mississippi is suing, yes, not giving, but suing former NFL quarterback and Hall of Famer Brett Fave, Far, whatever, and others, alleging they misspent millions of dollars that had been allocated for welfare. I think they should really give that uh, uh, welfare another name. It should be like public assistance. You know, welfare is just, it's just too much. I mean, it's for your welfare, your well-being. And all of that, but it should be titled something else. We always change the names on other things. We can change that too. Oh, but anyway, it says newly revealed text messages from 2017 indicate that former Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant, who left office in 2020, was aware of the arrangement and that the money that was intended to help low income. Hold on. Oh, what? Huh? The one the lawyers that sent the letter down on Saturday. Uh huh. He said he'll take Zay K put two hundred dollars down and he'll stuff the rest of it over the Coliseum if we want to go. Man, y'all better find a public defender. Mm. Well, I'll call you back. I'm taping. Okay. All right, bye. All right, bye. 
Okay, see, I told y'all everybody always want to bother me when I'm taping. But anyway, going back to the situation, it says um, he was aware of the arrangement and the money that was intended to help low-income families after being funneled through a nonprofit. It eventually went to uh, Brett to help build a volleyball facility at the University of Southern Mississippi, the lawsuit alleges. Now, I'm like, God damn, Brett, you made money. Did you not invest well when you had your career? And he was involved with this tech, uh, text, uh, sex scandal as well. Now, that's some shit. Oh, my God. And they talking about black people and Indians and all that. Y'all got a dirty past, too. Y'all got a dirty past, too. I'm talking about my white folks, my white brothers and sisters. You know, they always try to put it on the black, but the black ain't doing everything out there. We got the white folk doing it, too. All right. But anyway, uh, Brett, who had a story. Storied 20-year-old NFL career with the Green Bay Packers, New York Jets, and others have repeatedly denied any wrongdoing in the matter. He's a fraud, too. Brett. Okay, no, that was another article. Okay. Um, here's everything we know about the case. What allegations is Brett facing in the lawsuit? Okay, he's fa uh, the lawsuit brought in May on behalf of the Mississippi Department of Human Services alleges that the defendant squandered more than $20 million from the state's temporary assistance for needy families anti-poverty program. And you know the Mississippi, they having trouble with their water now. You know what I'm saying? They're drinking black, brown, giggly water. I mean, he's sitting up here misappropriating funds. Jail time is what needs to be had. Jail time. And I'm talking about in the hardcore prison system. I ain't talking about where you send them off and they just like they're in a uh, uh, celebrity clubhouse or something like that. I ain't talking about that. I ain't talking about when you do white collar crimes and you get to be sent to something like a rehab center than more so than a prison cell center. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's just me. Uh, text messages newly entered Monday in the lawsuit show that then Governor Phil Bryant was involved in the scheme and even guided Brett on how to write a funding proposal so that it could be accepted by the Mississippi Department of Human Services. So he finna write up a whole proposal to uh, present it to who's who's at the Department of Human Services to get the volleyball facility. What kind of shit is that? <sighs> anyway, moving on. It says, rather than the money go to the program, the suit alleged it was funneled through a nonprofit group, the Mississippi Community Education Center, to Brett and eventually spent on a new volleyball facility at the University of Southern Mississippi. But Brett and former Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant attended the school. Uh, Brett's daughter started playing on the volleyball team there in 2017. See what I'm saying? Privilege on top of privilege. Hey, you already got white privilege. You know what I'm saying? If the girl, meaning your daughter, made A's and B's, she would have got a scholarship. It's out there. It's called education fund. All right, you apply for it. You do, do what you make it do, and you go on about your life. Or better yet, hey, you had a wonderful, illustrious career. You should have already been, have saved her money for her college endeavors. But we see you have just squandered the welfare money. So you might have squandered your own money that you was getting when you were playing ball. Okay, but anyway, going on back. It said, um, <coughs> text messages that were filed in court documents Monday by a lawyer for the Mississippi C Community Education Center show messages between Brett and Center's executive director, Nancy New. Uh, it was dated August 3rd, 2017. The text messages include references to former Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant and favor seems to acknowledge some impropriety. We have a, a text messages from Brett. He says, if you were to pay me, there any women, if you were to pay me, is there any way the media can find out where it came from and how much? This uh, person that he was talking to said, no, we never have had that information publicized. I understand you're being uneasy about, about it, though. Let's see what happens on Monday with the conversation with some of the folks at Southern. Maybe it will click with them, hopefully. All right. Then we have a, a, a email that was came from Adam to Brent. And it said, no, it says, um. Uh, Brent sent it to him. Will the media find out that they're using welfare funds intended to help the poorest residents of America's poorest state to build a volleyball center? Nancy, the person he was talking to, said, no. Nah. Oh, yeah. The governor is fully on board. 
Then some other person wrote, five years later, we're ending up in this predicament. Okay, in a message uh, the following day, New confirms Brett that he sh that she had just finished a phone call with Brian, who was on the on the board with the arrangement. Have any changes been brought on the matter? Nancy New and her son, Zachary New, who helped run the nonprofit of Mississippi Community Education Center, pleaded guilty in April to charges of misspending welfare money. They await sentencing and have agreed to testify against others. Brett has not been charged with any criminal wrongdoing. Has Brett, <coughs> has Brett said anything about the matter? In <coughs> October 2021, after he repaid part of the money owed, Brett said in a Facebook post that he would never knowingly take funds meant to help our neighbors in need. <laughs> and yeah, you just got caught, okay? You just got caught. But he put on his Instagram account, this was almost a year ago, as I have said before, I would never accept money for no-show appearances as the state of Mississippi auditor, Shad White claims. I am doing all that I can support this investigation to make things right for the people of Mississippi, and I have shared all of that I know, which is that I was paid for three years of commercials that I did, and I paid taxes on the money, as I should. Of course, the money was returned because I would never knowingly take funds meant to help out um, neighbors in need, but for Chad White to continue to push out this lie that the money was for no show events is something I cannot stay silent about. Despite our efforts to seek clarification with the auditor, he has never granted a call back of a meeting with me, but has instead only repeatedly run to the media. Prioritizing sensational headlines over seeking truth is doing a disservice to the people of our great state who deserve answers and a resolution. Oh, now Brett is on the high horse stance now. Now, nah, we just need you to stay down now so we can keep beating you in the ground like a nail hitting against a uh, uh, I mean, a hammer hitting against a nail in a plank. We just want you to go down, down, down till we bury you. Meaning, until we get all the answers, the truth, and all of that, we're going to put you in jail. Pretty much. Okay, that's what we want to do. Put your ass in jail. All right? Because you are the ex NFL player that dominated the scene, but now you just a little man running scared like a little hoe. Okay? And that's all we're going to say about you, Brett. That's all we're going to say about you. You're no good, and you need to be cast away. Okay. Then it said, um, let me see. What have others said about Brett since the allegations emerged? Jeff Perlman wrote a 2016 biography on Brett called Gunslinger, The Remarkable, Improbable, Iconic Life of Brett, and urged his Twitter followers to not buy or read the book. Looking at it now, I am being very brutal Brutally honest, I advise people not to read it. Perlman wrote Tuesday on Twitter. He's a bad guy. He doesn't deserve the icon treatment. He doesn't deserve acclaim, <coughs> image rehabilitation, warm stories of grit, grit glory. His treatment of Jennifer Stanger was inexcusable. And now taking money that was designated to help poor people in his state and funneling it uh, to build check notes, a explicit volleyball arena. Is so grotesque, so monstrous, monstru 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 I don't know how someone like that looks in the mirror. I just don't. So I sincerely, um, wait a minute. I just don't. So sincerely, don't buy the book. Don't take it out from the library. Leave it. There are so many better people worthy of your reading hours of your time. I prefer crumbs like Brit. Shuffle off into the abyss. Shame by greed and selfishness <laughs> hey that's kind of poetic like that it says what else have brett been accused of mm -mm -mm. in may of 2020 the mississippi state auditor said in the mississippi community education center paid brett enterprises five hundred thousand dollars in december 2017 and six hundred thousand in june 2018 for multiple speaking engagement god damn he's getting that kind of money to just go out and speak to somebody for about 20 minutes Ooh, child. it's scandalous it's scandalous i don't know nothing about that kind of money i don't know nothing. i ain't even seen that kind of money and i won't see that kind of money i believe in my lifetime here but it's you know whatever it is what it is uh i'm blessed regardless uh it says um we yeah, have for speaking engagements the auditor report said that upon a cursory 
review of those dates, auditors were able to determine that the individual contracted did not speak, nor was he present for those events. So he had speaking engagements that he did not attend, but he received funds. Ooh, how my, 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 the cookie turns. Okay, that's some bullshit right there. That's some fake, fraudulent, foolish fuckery activity. Woohoo! Keep pouring the tea. Okay, but anyway, Brett initially denied the claim in the days after the audit, but then repaid six hundred thousand in October of twenty twenty one. At the time, the state's auditor said the state attorney general could sue um, Brett if he didn't pay interest. Oh, on the uh, amount. Then in <coughs> then in November twenty twenty one. Uh, Brett missed the deadline to pay the 228000 in interest, prompting the state auditor to turn the matter over to the state attorney's general office. Who is Brett Frey? Uh, he's a 52 man that played in the NFL for 20 seasons from 1991 to 2010. The Atlanta Falcons, Green Bay Packers, New York Jets, and Minnesota Vikings. A third time MVP, MVP three times all pro, 11 times pro bowler. Uh, Brett was introduced into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2016. Lord, we had him at Atlanta. We had this joker in Atlanta. Oh, my goodness. Woo, but anyway, moving along. Uh, he threw for 71,838 yards and, five and 508 touchdowns, both of which stood briefly as all-time NFL records, um, though which now placed him fourth on the current of all-time list. Okay, since he did such a disastrous thing, we should be taking his stats out. We should be repossessing those trophies, those MVPs, and uh, selling them and giving it back to the citizens of Mississippi for the welfare relief program. That's what we should do if we're going to do it honestly. And we're going to definitely make this man pay for his evil deeds. Okay, before we let him do anything else. But we need him to go straight. We don't need him to pass go. We need him to go straight to jail if I was playing on a Monopoly board. Do you understand what I'm saying, people? Do you understand? But that's all I got for this particular video. Don't have any more. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.